Hello, welcome to Learning Chinese, Practical Writing and Speaking. Before we start, let me remind you of taking out your notebooks and sharpening your pencils. Later, we're going to write together. What's in this season? 1. Several main traditional festivals in China will be chosen and introduced. 2. The writing and speaking of the festival-related practical Chinese characters, expressions, or even sentences will be presented. And today we go to the Qi Shi Festival. The Qi Shi Festival in Chinese is Qi Shi Jie. And now let's write Qi Shi Jie together. Before writing, two things to tell. One, you are always encouraged to mark the pronunciation of each Chinese character in your own way. Two, don't worry a lot about the tones of the characters, because when you and your friends talk, there is always a context and focus between you. As long as you pronounce the characters right, it's not easy for your friends to misunderstand you. So, don't worry a lot about the tones of the characters. And now, let's write the festival Qi Xi Jie together. Okay, Qi, horizontal, across, curve, and hook. Xi, slide down, a turn, a dot, Jie, I guess uh, you have already known this character because we have written it for many, many times in our previous episodes. Qi means seven. Xi means evening, while Jie means a festival or festivals. Now, could you please read after me? Qi, Xi. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at some more introduction to Qi Shi Jie. Legend has it that the seventh granddaughter of the Heavenly Emperor in Chinese mythology was good and weeping. She waved the rosy clouds for the sky every day, and she's considered the goddess of weaving. However, she hated the boring life, so she secretly went down to the earth and married a cowherd in the west of the river. Thus infuriated the Emperor of Heaven, he took the girl back to Heaven and ordered her to separate from the cowherd, but only allowed them to meet once a year on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month, that is the date of Qi Xi Jie. Their faithful love moved the magpies, so countless magpies flew to build a magpie bridge across the Milky Way so that the cowherd and the weaver maid could meet on the sky bridge. The theme of Qi Xi Jie is love. Qi Xi Jie is considered to be the most romantic traditional Chinese festival. People call it the Chinese Valentine's Day. And now, let's take a look at some customers in Qi Xi Jie. Since Qi Xi Jie is a Chinese Valentine's Day, the first customer must be praying for marriage. In Chinese, we say Qi Qiu Ying Yuan. And now, let's write Qi Qiu Ying Yuan together. Okay, let's write Qi Qiu Ying Yuan. First, Qi. A dot. A turn, a cross, a dot, slide down, slide down again, straight out, and cross. It is a qi, qiu, cross, hook, four dots with two on each side, one more dot, 
It is a chill. Yin. Slide down. A dot. Cross. And cross. On the right side is put. Like this. Turn. Hook. Inside. Horizontal. Cross. A dot. And close. It is yin. Yuan, two, acute angle, rise, a turn, cross, horizontal, slide down, curve, hook, slide down, slide down, slide down again, and press down. It is Yuan. Qi and Qiu are pronounced and written differently, but they mean the same. Qi Qiu They mean to beg, to ask for, or to pray. Chinese characters are sometimes combined this way. Yin and Yuan are put in a way the same as qi and qiu. They are pronounced and written differently, but they mean the same. Yuan means a predestined relationship, and yin means the predestined most intimate relationship, marriage. So qi, qiu, yin, yuan simply means praying for marriage. On the night of Qi Xi Jie, girls pray to the weaving maid star for the special gift, marriage. Now, could you please read after me? Qi, Qiu, Yin, Yuan, Qi, Qiu, Yin, Yuan. Qi Qiu Yin Yuan. Okay, very good. Okay, next custom I want to introduce in Qi Xi Jie is needle threading game. In Chinese, it is Chuan Zhen Qi Qiao. Now let's write Chuan Zhen Qi Qiao together first. Okay, first the Chuan. A dot. One more dot, horizontal, hook, two dots, horizontal, a turn, cross, hook, and slide down. It is Chuan, Zhen, slide down, straight out, two horizontal lines, cross, hook, in class, it is Zhen Qi. Slide down, straight out, horizontal, turn, curve, and hook. Qiao. Horizontal, cross, rise, horizontal, turn, curve. And hook, it is a qiao. Chuan means to thread. Zhen means a needle or needles. Qi means to ask for or to beg. Qiao means skills. Now, could you please read after me? Chuan, Zhen, Qi. Qiao, Chuan, Zhen, Qi, Qiao, Chuan, Zhen, Qi, Qiao. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at some introduction to Qi Xi Jie, Chuan, Zhen, Qi, Qiao. The fastest person who threads seven needles is a winner. 
and she is considered the most skillful one in threading. The next custom I want to introduce in Qi Qi Jie is webbing. In Chinese, Zhu Wang Qi Qiao. Now let's write Zhu Wang Qi Qiao together first. Okay, Zhu, top down, a turn, close, press, rise, a dot, slide down, straight out, horizontal, cross, slide down, and press down. It is Zhu Wang. Top down, a turn, hook, two crosses in it. Qi Qiao. This is Qi. This is Qiao. I guess you still remember. We just uh, wrote this pair of uh, characters, meaning begging for scales. While Zhu means a spider or spiders. Wang. You may take a look at the shape of this character. You may have a guess. It means cobweb. Now, could you please read after me? Zhu Wang Qi Qiao Zhu Wang Qi Qiao Zhu Wang Qi Qiao Okay, very good. Introduction to Qi Xi Jie Zhu Wang Qi Qiao. For young girls, Qi Xi Jie is also a festival to play. Girls gather together and put Zhu into their own boxes. The next day, whose Wang is the most dense, the most complete, who is considered to gain the most Qiao in weaving. And now I want to draw your special attention to the character Zhu and some other Chinese characters with the right part of Zhu. Okay, let's pay attention to the left three characters first. So have you noticed something interesting? Okay, I guess you find it right. The right parts of all the three characters actually look the same and sound the same. The right part sounds true. Okay. While the all the three characters with the, the same right part sound the same. The first one sounds true. The second one sounds true. And the last one sounds true as well. So all of them sound the same as the their right part. Well, for the left part of the first character, it means a bug or bugs. Well, the whole character, it means a spider or spiders. Everybody knows a spider is kind of bug. Well, for the left part of the second character, the left part, it means wood. Well, the whole character, it means plants. Everybody knows that wood is cut from plants. Well, the left part of the third character, it means ki the king. Well, the whole character means a pearl or pearls. Probably the king has the most pearls in the world. So, characters with the same part, especially with the same right part, often sound the same. And that part of a character tells the sound, and the other part tells the meaning, feature, or function, is one of the features of many Chinese characters. Chinese characters with this feature account for 90% of all or more. And the last custom I want to introduce in Qi Qi Jie is exposing books and clothes to the sun in Chinese. Shai Shu Shai Yi. And now let's write Shai Shu Shai Yi together first. Okay, Shai. It has two parts left and right. Left part top down, a turn, 
connect and close. And the right part is put like this, top down, or turn, hook, cross, cross and turn, and close. It is a shy. Shu, or turn, a bigger turn, hook, cross, a dot, shy. The third character is the same as the first one. We just write it here. Top down, a turn, hook, okay, close, shy, shu, shy, yi. E is written like this, a dot, horizontal, slide down, cross, hook, slide down, and press down. Okay. Shy means to expose to the sun. Shu means a book or books. E means the clothes we wear. Now, could you please read after me? Shy. Shu. Shy. Yi. Shy. Shu. Shy. Yi. Once again. Shy. Shu. Shy. Yi. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at some introduction to Qi Qi Jie Shai Shu Shai Yi. The sun often blazes down on the earth on Qi Xi. So Shai Shu Shai Yi on Qi Xi can prevent moth. And now I want to draw your special attention to the character Shai. The left part in Shai is a single character too. It means a sun and it sounds in Chinese, some characters with the ri car carry the meaning related to the sound. Let's see three more examples with this part. And the first character sounds ming, it means bright. And the second character sounds qing, it means clear up. And the last character Sounds nuan. It means warm. Now, could you please read after me? Ming, qing, nuan. Once again, ming, qing, nuan. Okay, very good. Now, let's review what we have learned today by answering the question, what are the customers in qi xi jie? First, let's take a look at the pictures in the upper part. So what customer do you think uh, these two pictures show? It is the customer of Shai, Shu, Shai, Yi. Okay, how, the, how about the picture in the lower left corner? What customer do you think it shows? Okay, it shows a customer of Chuan Zhen Qi Qiao. Okay, how about the middle picture? What do you think? What customer it shows? It shows the customer of Zhu Wang Qi Qiao. Okay, how about the picture in the lower right corner? It is a customer of, do you still remember? Qi Qiu Ying Yuan. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.